When a man finds something he likes, he should stick with it. That's Alan Wilmore's philosophy. From the front porch of his farmhouse in Pleasant Shade, Tennessee, he can see up and down the big branch of Peyton Creek, and very little gets past him. On cold winter days, he settles himself in a chair in the kitchen, and while his wife sews, Alan whittles. He's been farming most of his 74 years, and long ago he started making plows for himself and for his neighbors. Now he whittles out miniature plows from cedar sticks. Not too many people use mule-drawn plows anymore, but Alan Wilmore figures that that's no reason for people forgetting what they look like. In bad days is when, when I was with him. bad days? <laughs> yeah, that's when, when I, it's company to me, you see. And my wife, you see what she does, she's always doing something else. I have to sort of match her up, you see. Big plows. I made several of them in town. You see the one we had out on a... That's the first I ever made. Uh, I've had that ever since 28. You don't see too many uh, mule-drawn plows around much anymore, do you? No, they're skates. They, they about quit using the mules you got skates. <laughs> there ain't no mules to get old of. About how many plows have you ever made, big ones and little ones? Oh, there ain't no telling. I've made, I, uh, I made around 50 of the big ones. I know I've made that many. I can begin to tell you how many little ones. I've made plenty of them. Pretty soon it'll be dry enough and warm enough to do the spring plowing, and Alan Wilmore will stop whittling for this winter and hitch his mule to the plow he made almost 50 years ago. There's corn to be planted, and the garden needs tilling, and Alan plans to plow it himself. He wouldn't have it any other way. In Pleasant Shade, Tennessee, this is Andy Johnston.